The rural economy of Wales is a vital sector to the future of our economy. In a recent RDP team survey, 96% of farms were found to be off the mains gas network, 77% of farmhouses were found to be over 100 years old, and 58% of respondents were classed as being in full poverty. The Rural Development Plan for Wales is the mechanism by which the Welsh Government delivers projects that help support the countryside and rural communities. The Caffili Cymamanedd RDP programme is currently delivering a number of inspiring rural projects across the county borough. Um, well, the RDP Sustainable Energy programme started in 2011. It was a new programme to the area, so we actually undertook an initial survey. Uh, we spoke to farmers, sent out questionnaires to find out what the issues were around energy. Uh, it turns out that farmers are using a lot of, spend a lot of money on energy, a lot of them are in fuel poverty. So as a result of that we developed the, the programme and the programme uh, involves low level support from advice over the phone, a series of fact sheets on key issues, um, we go out to energy surveys and the highest level of support is the exemplar programme. In the exemplar programme we'll go to a farm, we'll do a, a detailed discussion of, of the issues and the exemplars are projects which demonstrate sustainability in action and are projects which are um, unique to the county borough um, and other people can learn from. My Saron has existed as a farm since prior to 1825. My grandfather took over the farm in 1946 and our family has farmed the land on a commercial basis since then. The farm consists of 84 hectares of land and is situated two miles out of Mammal village. There have never been any services on site and sometimes due to bad weather the trip up here was made impossible. We have uh, extensive common rights on Mysaron and in order to expand the business and to look after the stock uh, as we would want to, this is where we need to be, living at Mysaron. Overall, Mysaron is well respected in the agricultural community. We are a mainly sheep farm producing butchers lambs but primarily producing quality breeding stock that is sold to other breeders and commercial farmers. My father hates to admit it, but we are among the top producers of South Wales Mountain Sheep and have won a number of championships from all seven of the major South Wales agricultural shows. The original design of the house was uh, rather traditional. Two bedrooms and a box room and uh, just a porch front and back. A borehole for the water um, and uh, a generator, a diesel generator for electricity and a wood burner for energy for the heating. I think most farmers are conscious of their environment and Sue and I are no different. Um, and especially uh, when Bronwyn, our daughter, was climate change champion for Wales and uh, recently she was, uh, carried the Olympic torch in recognition of her environmental efforts. Uh, once we'd received outline planning permission, uh, we started to do some of our own research into how we were going to get services to the site. Um, this was generally at the summer shows and we found it increasingly frustrating that uh, we couldn't get any independent advice and certainly not specific to our site and our problems. Uh, the family approached the RDP Sustainable Energy team for advice and support on the project. Um, obviously we are happy to provide that. Uh, we've got a lot of expertise in renewable energy technologies, but it soon became clear that for this particular project, being off-grid, we need to know exactly how much energy and water the family would use to be able to size the technologies, and importantly as well in this situation, to be able to balance the technologies together. Um, with that in mind, we brought in the Building Research Establishment, the BRE, who are experts, acknowledged experts in this area. Um, and they did the initial feasibility study on the project for us. Detailed energy modelling was undertaken, looking at how Arthur and his family lived in their existing house, so that we could extrapolate that out to how they might live in their future home. Arthur had already worked with another consultant to achieve an outline planning consent on the site, but the scheme that was proposed didn't quite meet the requirements of a very low energy house, and at that point we stepped in and worked with Arthur to help him work up a scheme inspired by a long house that would give him something more fitting for this site. The site is a thousand feet above sea level with a strong westerly wind that can be up to 100 miles an hour coming over the side of the hill. Uh, so it's pretty exposed. Uh, it's also in a very beautiful location and it really needs to respect that. Fundamentally, uh, the design reduces energy demand by having a very efficient form. It's effectively a rectangular box. 
uh, and that box is then built with extremely good levels of insulation and in such a way that it has virtually no drafts. The ventilation that's in the box uh, is purely there for the purposes of getting fresh air in, so it doesn't leak heat. And it's a very cost-effective way of making an energy-efficient home. From the very beginning, it was obvious that uh, Maestron was a unique project and a great opportunity to showcase sustainability in action. And as the inspirational design started to take shape and it became clear what technology were involved, it was obvious to us that it might be a project that other partners would like to get involved in, particularly those in the energy sector. After a few discussions with SSE, Swalek in Wales, they offered to come involved in the project. They offered to design up the uh, equipment in detail uh, to move to the next stage and then to install the kit as well. Uh, Kifili County Borough Council is obviously a very important relationship to SSE and SSE had an appetite to actually demonstrate its ability to install, um, design and review um, the benefits of an off-grid farmhouse um, that really is operated from renewable technologies. Each of the technologies that have been selected are bespoke technologies that can operate in their own right in any given project. Um, what we've done here is selected a range of technologies that fit the requirements of the household. Um, we installed 21 PV panels south facing on the roof with a total capacity of 3.88 kilowatts. Um, the system provides general uh, power for the Davis family throughout the day and night. We installed a 20 kilowatt wood gasification boiler which is um, sourced with wood which is readily available for the Davis family in the woodlands. When the biomass boiler isn't fired up, they have a second source of a chlorifier. Construction of our new home began in April 2012. There were some key initial stages involved in order to prepare the land and get ourselves watertight before the winter. All materials and labour were locally sourced and all of the tradesmen instructed by my father worked extremely hard over the winter to get all of the mechanical, electrical and plumbing services in place. In February 2013, SSE installed the PV array and started the basement fit out which would house the bulk of the renewable energy technologies. Both the electrical and heating system were commissioned in May 2013. While the house was being built, we lived in a caravan on site and between the icicles hanging from the taps and the dog's ball freezing over, we had many a story to tell about one of the worst winters in recent years. Well, living in a caravan was, uh, for 15 months was a bit of an experience. It set us up very nicely for living totally off-grid, taught us a lot of lessons about sustainable living before we actually moved in the house. Because of the utility infrastructure that exists at my salon, some appliances will need to be run during the day in order to take advantage of the photovoltaic array on the roof and to avoid drawing power from the battery bank. A launch was held in June on the completion of our new home, with many distinguished persons talking about the achievements of the partnership, including Alan Davis, Minister for Natural Resources. It's great to see uh, renewable energy becoming a part of everyday life. This is exactly the sort of thing we want to see from Welsh Government. It's exactly the sort of thing we want to see people in the local authority working with government, working with the renewable energy um, industry in order to deliver not just cash savings to people, although that's important, but also to deliver a sort of different way of living. And I think by working together we can achieve an enormous amount. Each individual renewable measure uh, could be implemented in any household um, across the UK, whether that be on-grid or off-grid. Technology is evolving, um, the cost of technology is coming down and therefore people should be looking uh, to utilise these forms of renewable technology with a view of reducing their energy costs and living in a more sustainable way. By working with Constructing Excellence Wales and the Wales Low Zero Carbon Hub, we will be monitoring and evaluating the building's performance and how the family are adapting to living life off the grid. The rural sector is vital to the future of Wales' economy. My Saron is an exemplar project, but it is much more than a statement of technology and collaboration. It is a metaphor, reminding us all that living sustainably doesn't mean compromising on our lifestyle. Remember, not everyone can do everything, but someone can always do something. <laughs>